I just want to show this. Just picked this up at Walmart. Uh, 15 bucks on clearance. Uh, it's got a little hatchet in there, titanium. It's got this little uh, survival keychain thingamajig and a little pocket knife. Uh, I've been meaning to get a new pocket knife. And uh, I've also been looking for a new hatchet. So decided to pick this up on clearance. This thing... Uh, it weighs like not next to nothing, this little hatchet, so that will be cool in my bag. Um, won't take up a lot of space and it's real lightweight. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and check it out. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, the reason I wanted this mainly is because this is my old hatchet. Uh, as you can see, it's been heavily used. It's still pretty sharp, but it's really, really heavy. Um, that thing weighs a lot. This thing weighs next to nothing. Um, I think it's like razor sharp, this new one. That one's pretty dull. But I also like this sheath it came with. Um, a lot better than this plastic piece of junk this one came with. This is just the generic uh, Coleman one. Or actually it's uh, Cochlins or however you pronounce that. I got it at Walmart or something. 10 bucks or something so I've been wanting to get a replacement for that for a while so this I'm gonna test this out but I'm what I always do when I get some new gear uh, take the old one out set it aside if you decide you don't end up liking your new gear you can just put the old one back in um, and then we've got this little pocket knife it's kinda dull not too bad then it came with this little tool, this little multi-tool thing. Got a compass. Uh, the orange, the orange paracord is called Tinder cord. Never heard of that before. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little research on that. And then uh, regular paracord. It's got a fire striker right there, and it's got the little um, flint on there. And then I, it just snaps together, and you hook it on your bag. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'll probably put that in my day pack, but what I really wanted was this hatchet. So um, we'll see how it goes, test it out. Maybe I'll do a little review about it in the future, but yeah, just wanted to show you what I picked up for 15 bucks at Walmart on clearance. Always keep your eye on the clearance section. Survival for the poor. Another thing that I want to go over is uh, my get home bag or my day pack. It's kind of a new uh, topic for me, so bear with me. I uh, just kind of started this recently. One of my friends had one. I thought it would be a good idea to throw one in my Jeep. So what this is is just a small little over-the-shoulder bag on the outside. Got a coffee cup, um, carabiner, and this little multi-tool thing that I just picked up. Um, reason I have a coffee cup is it's metal. You could boil water in it if you had to. Um, other than that, no real purpose behind the coffee cup. And then the pockets on the outside, I got a can of fruit, just a little snack, and a bottle of water ready to go. Um, this is just like a little 24 hour bag, or say your car breaks down, you gotta walk home, or there's a lot of snow or something, and you can't make it home from work, and you gotta stay in a motel. That's what something like this is for. This is just or if something bad happened, this, this would help you get home to your bug out bag. But this is just a little small pack. Got this little hand warmer thing. Um, it's from Eddie Bauer. I got it last year for Christmas. It's just a little electronic hand warmer thing. Um, in this bag, got some medicines, soaps, stuff like that. A little five hour power because you got to stay awake. Um, headache pills. I got a lighter in here. And uh, that new knife I just picked up, decided to just throw it in this bag because it's kind of small and I don't, I'm going to use it for my daily use. Um, I got an extra warm hat in case you're stuck outside without a hat on. It is winter here where I live, so warm hat. Um, pen. I got to put a notebook in here, I forgot about that. Uh, an extra pair of warm socks in case you got to go walking in the snow. Some beef jerky. Just to get you through, a little snack. Um, some cigars past the time. A uh, little fork to eat my little peaches or whatever I had, my oranges. Flashlight. Um, this flashlight's actually kind of cool. If you unscrew it, 
It's not hard to do with one hand. It turns into a little lantern, so that's kind of useful. You could hang it up inside the vehicle, um, have a little bit of light, or you could use it as a regular flashlight. And then uh, this Swiss Army multi-tool. This thing's kind of pricey, but my dad got it from a vendor at his work, and he gave it to me. Uh, I use it all the time. I bring it with me all everywhere I go on vacation and stuff. You never know when you're going to need it. Um, I was actually at a wedding and nobody brought a corkscrew. So luckily I had this in my Jeep. And then the cool thing about this, where's it at? One of these, here it is. One of these is a magnifying glass, so start a little fire with that. That's what I think is really cool about this little Swiss Army knife. But it's pretty pricey, so if you can't afford it, just go with your basic uh, multi-tool. It's good to have a multi-tool with you. you got screwdrivers and all kinds of stuff like that. You never know what you're going to need. And, yeah, that's about it. That's my 24-hour get-home bag, get to my bug-out bag, or just stuff happens. You might have to stay the night at a hotel or sleep the night in your car. You never know. It's good to be prepared. Thanks for watching.